Hi friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss about transaction control commands like commit, rollback, save point. So I sincerely request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First, let me define what is a transaction. A transaction is a unit of work performed against a database. Let's take that you have inserting the values into the table then it is also a transaction you are deleting the rows from the table that is also a transaction you are updating values in the column of a particular table that is also a transaction so how can you control the transaction because we are talking about the transaction control commands so you need to know what is a transaction what is transaction control and then transaction control commands you need to control the transaction so we will use the various commands to control the transaction so the following commands are used to control the transaction like we have the commit and we have the rollback and third one is we have the save point what is the purpose of the commit command it is useful for you to save the changes what are the changes you want to save on the database then you can use the commit command if you want to roll back the changes then you can use the rollback to roll back the changes it is like undo you are done something and you have not saved and then you want to undo then you can go for the rollback to roll back the changes and then you have the save point which is useful for you to create points with groups of transaction in which to roll back now what is the purpose of save point you are creating a save point then if you want to roll back up to that save point then you can write roll back to a if you does not use the save point then if you roll back it will roll back till to the previous comment or previous rollback but if you want to create a save points and if you want to roll back up to the save point then you can use the roll back to the save point name all these things i will discuss now let me discuss about the transaction control commands what is the purpose of them already we have discussed but for what it will be useful the tcl are used only with the data modification long ways commands only like insert update delete only now you can ask me sir i have created a table can i roll back no you cannot roll back let's take that i have dropped a table can I roll back? Can I bring the table? No, you cannot bring it back because they are the data definition command. So it will be useful. The transaction control commands are useful only with the data modification commands such as insert, update and delete. They cannot be used while creating the tables or dropping them because these operations are automatically committed in the database now let me discuss more about the commit command the commit command is used to save changes invoked by a transaction to the database already i told you the commit command is useful for you to save the changes in the database so what are the transactions you have done if you want to save them to the database then you can use the commit command suppose let's take that i'm writing the notes if i want to save it i will press ctrl s so now what are the data i have entered in this word file called sql notes.dex which is an extension and the name of the file is sql notes now if i press ctrl s then it will be a committed it will be stored in your system if i does not saving it and if i am closing then it will ask do you still want to save if i say don't save then whatever the data i have entered into this file will be lost okay so it is like a saving a file so the commit command is used to save changes invoked by a transaction to the database then you can ask me sir what are the things we can save it saves all the transaction to the database since the last commit or rollback command suppose let's take that i have saved now then again i am entering this is the notes for sql something now if i save then what are the information will be again saved this 
is the new information I have added. If I press Ctrl S, this part will be saved to the previous one. Okay, so similarly, it saves all the transactions to the database since the last commit or rollback command. Now, let me discuss the syntax to use the commit command. It is very simple, just you need to write commit. Okay, then what are the changes you want to do? All the changes will be saved on the database. Now, let me discuss about the rollback command. It is used to undo transactions that have not already been saved to the database. Let's take that. I have written the this rollback and if I write something, it is used to undo transaction something I have written and I did not save it and I have closed this one and I have pressed don't save then up to what it will be saved there will be an SQL notes yeah here it is then if you see up to the rollback only it has been saved whatever we have written and we did not save that will be lost it is used to undo transaction that have not already been saved to the database what is the syntax for the rollback it is very simple just you need to write the rollback and end with the semicolon all the statements you should end with a semicolon that is very very important now let me discuss about the save point a save point is a point in a transaction when you can roll back the transaction to certain point without rolling back the entire transaction i think you can understand with a simple example let's consider that you are downloading 1 gb movie okay you have downloaded up to 990 mb then remaining file size is what 10 mb only you need to download let's take that while you are downloading up to 990 mb between 990 MB and 1 GB, the 10 MB, whatever you are downloading the file, the internet has been gone or you lost the internet. Then normally, if you are not using any third party software and you are still downloading the files, then once you again get back the internet, the file downloading will start from 0 MB means from the starting it will do it then I know what is the pain you will face because you have spent a lot of time to download the 990 MB just for the 10 MB again you are downloading the 1 GB file now if you use some third party software it will not start from the 0 MB it will start from some 800 MB or 700 MB or 600 MB why it is starting from those locations only or like uh, those checkpoints only because there in the third party softwares we will use a checkpoints so suppose let's take that i say from 0 mb to 100 mb at 100 mb there is a checkpoint similarly at 200 mb there is a another checkpoint for 400 mb there is a another checkpoint again at 800 mb there is a checkpoint and let's consider that 1 gb now when you are downloading the file from 800 MB to 1 GB, if you lost your internet, once the internet has been resumed back, it will start downloading the file from the previous checkpoint which is 800 MB. Or let's take that you lost the internet between downloading the file from 400 MB to 800 MB. Then again it will resume back from the 400 MB checkpoint. So this is the purpose of the checkpoints while you are downloading the files from the internet this will be done with the help of the session layer in the osi model similarly in sql also we have a command called save point command what is the purpose of the save point command is a save point is a point in a transaction when you can roll the transaction back to a certain point without rolling back the entire transaction suppose let's take that you have inserted three rows and then you have pressed the commit statement and then you have inserted another 10 more rows and now you are rolling back if you roll back 
up to what point it will go to the previous rollback command or previous commit operation so the previous commit operation is happened here so whatever the 10 rows you have been inserted all them we will lose it or you are performing the undo operation suppose let's consider that another example i have committed here and then i have inserted five rows and then i have created a save point called a which is a is the save point name and then i have inserted five more rows then i am pressing the roll back then it will roll back to a then it will roll back up to here so whatever the five rows you have inserted between the save point and this roll back those rows only you will lose them that is the purpose of save point if you does not use the save point if you give the roll back it will go up to the previous command if you give the roll back and then save point name it will be rolled back up to that save point only now all these statements we will discuss using the sql plus let me create a table called mask1 and i will have two attributes called s number which is a number of size 10 and then i will have s name which is a data type is var character of size 20 let me end with semicolon now you can see the table has been successfully created now i want to insert the data into the table so i will write insert into mask1 values and then i will write the number as 1 name as jagadish let me end with semicolon one row has been successfully inserted insert into mask one values and i will give the number as two and the name as siri and let me end with the semicolon one more row has been successfully inserted let me again write insert into mask one values three comma pernika and now i'm pressing the commit operation so all this one will be saved let me end with semicolon okay again let me write it for you commit end with the semicolon so the commit has been completed now whatever the transactions we have done all the transactions have been updated or saved to the database now if i write select star from mask one I want to retrieve the data from the mask1 table. Now you can see we have two attributes called yes number and yes name and three tuples are there which is one Jagadish, two Siri, three Parnika. Now I am inserting few more data. Insert into mask1 values four comma let me write Ravi end with the semicolon. Again I will insert one more tuple or a row into the mask one this time i will give ramesh okay now you can see if i write select star from mask one then this time you can see five tuples are there which is one jagadish two siri three panika four ravi five ramesh now if i give roll back then what will happen you will be rolled back till to the previous commit where was the previous commit was happened after inserting the first three rows like one jagadish two three three parnika you have given the commit after that commit you have inserted the two tuples called four ravi five ramesh if you give the roll back then you will lose whatever the two tuples you have inserted at the last those tuples you will lose now you can see after pressing the rollback you got a statement called rollback completed now if i write select star from mask one then you can verify only three tuples are there between the rollback and commit what are the transactions you have done all the transactions has been rolled back or all the transactions has been undo or lost let me insert some data insert into mask one values and now let me give 34 sita end with a semicolon insert into mask one values 35 krishna end with a semicolon now if you look at the data select star from mask one end with a semicolon now you can see five tuples are there 
now I am not performing this commit operation. If I perform the commit operation, all the transactions will be updated into the database. Before that, I want to create a save point and the save point name. This is very important. The syntax of the save point is, I think I forgot to mention here, the syntax is save point space save point name you need to provide and end with the semicolon. Now you can verify. I will give save point. Save point name is, let me give as A1 and end with semicolon. Now you can see save point has been created. I want to insert few more tuples into the mask1 table. So insert into mask1 values. Let me give 4 and this time I will give Razu insert into mask1 values and then 5 comma and let me give this one as Ruhi end with the semicolon. Now if you look at the data which is there in the mask1 table then you can see totally 7 rows are selected 1 Jagadish, 2 Siri, 3 Parnika, 34 Sita, 35 Krishna, 4 Raju, 5 Ruhi. Now if I give roll back A1 then it will be rolled back up to the save point A1 because you are specifying roll back save point then it will be rolled back to the save point if i does not give any save point simply i give roll back then it will be rolled back to the previous commit or roll back statement now you can see invalid option to roll back work roll back to a1 i'm really sorry the two is very very important roll back to save point name now the rollback has been completed. Let me update here. If you want to roll back to any save point, the syntax is roll back to save point name. End with the semicolon. Let me save this one and you can see. If I write select star from mask1, then can you guess what are the tuples will be displayed. It will display 1 Jagadish, 2 Siri, 3 Parnika, 34 Sita, 35 Krishna because after that you have created the save point and you have inserted 4 Razu, 5 Ruhi. So you will lose the tuples where 4 Razu, 5 Ruhi is there. Now you can see only 5 rows has been selected. 1 Jagadish, 2 Siri, 3 Parnika, 34 Sita, 35 Krishna. If I say roll back, then roll back has been completed. Then you can see what will be the output. Select star from mask 1. Then the previous commit. What, where do you have given the previous commit? After inserting the first three tuples, we have given the commit. So up to there it has been rolled back. But if you say roll back to a save point, then it will go roll back up to that save point. I hope it is very very clear for you. If you still have any doubts related to the commit statement, rollback statement and save point you can ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day